When considering the future of text, one has to consider the future and its relation to media. The future as a frame for the potential of the CMIM is changing before our eyes as the COVID pandemic announces the arrival of the 21st century in full force with all its challenges. Please don't understand me. I dream of the potentials of media born of scientists like Douglas Engelbart, designers like my mentor Rory Stringer and his Navihedron interface, Ted Nelson with the Xanadu Project, as well as our organizer for the Hagland Wood and his work with the Liquid Platform. A spatial computing, AR, and the promise of devices like the HoloLens point towards a semantic future that merges with the everyday environment, creating potentials that are nothing short of miraculous. But as with everything, even the notion of the future changes. Caroline Barocco's warning of futures made of unsustainable, quote, zombie technologies based on a post-industrial future imagined in the, 20, in the 20th and 19th centuries is now becoming obsolete. Conventional futures of glittering cities built from oil, steel, and silicon suggest the need for an essential future of organic zero-waste technologies where humans' ideas of mastery of changes for, to that of integration with it. Bruce Serling's Brilliant Design Initiative called for, quote, bright green technologies that mix organic technology and eco-stewardship currently unheard of now in that most radical sense. So what does this future look like? Perhaps the future will look more like grown books and DNA archives rather than George Powell's interpretation of the library from H.G. Wells' The Time Machine as an elaborated analog of DVDs, which is already an outdated medium. What's clear is that if humanity is to survive, it has to achieve homeostasis with the Earth. And the post-industrial world doesn't support this. We need new ways to read and write and be part of nature, not be apart from it. I've been a supporter of the Future of Text and its metal edition, and even the Long Now Foundation's Rosetta Disk projects. However, I believe that approaches beyond sustainability and durability to the emergent, growing, and evolutionary are desperately needed. What's clear to me is that conventional notions of the future, as Barocco mentions, are based primarily in 19th and 20th century paradigms, and these are beginning to crumble. As humanity evolves, so does its communications and technologies infrastructures. And this really is where I believe the future of text resides. Thank you for having